Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Tuesday, February 6, 2024. In this video, we are going to discuss King Charles and his diagnosis of cancer that was announced yesterday by Buckingham Palace. I'm going to take you to a compilation I've got that's got a little bit of information about the situation, especially more from a alt media point of view. And then we're going to do uh, a read with the tarot cards and see if the cards want to inform us a little bit more about what's really going on. Now, I'll make no secret about it. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I feel like the royal family has already been processed quite a while back. And uh, I think that though, that there's a lot of situations like this in our world where they have to kind of close those storylines in a way that the normies can accept. And that may be what's going on here. Um, let's look at my compilation. If it interests you and you'd like to look at it closer later, you can follow the Facebook link that'll be in the video description box or just watch and uh, look where I found my sources and there's nothing unusual. You could find them too. <laughs> okay, let's go to that compilation real quick. Now, when the crowning occurred, um, there was a lot of, of King Charles III. He was, uh, called Sausage Fingers for a reason. And even then, there were a lot of photo comparisons of this gentleman who was being presented as King Charles and the original uh, Prince Charles and uh, seemed to already have been a kind of a switcheroo that had already taken place. Now, if you'd just like some information about the diagnosis, here is a Daily Mail article about it, okay? And then um, I got this, uh, this from a... Uh, one of my viewers, Delving Eye, said, well, it's official. The British royal family is one step closer to the end of their royal reign. Here's how they're going to remove Charles. And then it took us to this link here. Okay, so um, the, the comment here, though, from a viewer was what's irrelevant there. Now, during the um, inauguration or crowning of uh, King Charles, there was that moment where the Grim Reaper came through, kind of a harbinger of the fact that this uh, reign was not going to be all that long lived. No one's been expecting it to be very long. Now, I found a Twitter post where Buckingham Palace has been uh, lit up in green all day. And they were saying this, they speculated that this meant he had already been taken out, gone, what have you. However, um, widespread across the UK today, there was a lot of green uh, showing just support for the cancer diagnosis. Here is this uh, next comment is the British um, official statement about the situation. It's interesting that it ends with the word ends here. And then there was this uh, photo floating around <laughs> the, uh, the internet with uh, the crown showing some Epstein motif here. And then this person crossed out. So here's what I wanted to do. I thought, let's do a comparison read. Um, I'm going to do um, a two line comparison read, five cards to a line. And for those of you that think I should use two decks for that, I disagree. That's 10 cards, there's 78 in the deck. There's a lot of cards there still to uh, that the universe can use to give information. So my top row is going to be about the original Prince Charles, who I think was processed while he was still Prince Charles. And then I'd like uh, some insights and information about the current one, uh, what's going on with him, this storyline of cancer and it's already spread and what have you, because I think cancer is one of the cures that have been suppressed and the, uh, the people that considered themselves elite have uh, had access to it. So I think, like I said, I think this is just a storyline that they figure will be sympathetic and can play out. But let's see what the cards want us to know. Again, top row is going to be about the original Prince Charles, who may or may not have been processed <laughs> for crimes against humanity. And then the uh, what's going on with this storyline for the one that's been um, in the role of King Charles. So what's going on with that one? So let's find out what the cards want us to know. I'm going to switch the camera. You can watch me work with the cards and we'll find out together if there's some uh, varying information for those two different, possibly two very different people and what's going on with their life story in the public eye.
Okay, let's see what's going on with the two Charles, the possible two Charles. I could be wrong, the cards can tell me I am. Uh, but I'm just asking for accurate insights and information. I would also like this information to be free of any veiling, shrouding, or uh, uh, obfuscation that has been done to the information to keep it from being accessed accurately. So I want the information as it would have been given before any veiling attempts had been done um, on the information. Again, top row, the original Prince Charles. The uh, bottom row is going to be the person playing the part of King Charles and what's going on with uh, this announcement, his uh, health situation, his son rushing to his side, Okay, top row first. <laughs> the tower. <sighs> the three of wands. The eight of wands. Queen of cups. And the two of wands. Okay, now for the, uh, the person playing the part of King Charles, card one. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, Death, and Four of Wands. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, intuitively, I was on the mark according to the cards here. Um, they are using this supposed cancer diagnosis to end the um, short-lived 15-month reign of King Charles III, okay? But the original was processed. <laughs> okay, the first card in a comparison read for, for how I do those. This will be the situation, okay? Or the person, in this case, you know, it's a kind of a combination. This clarifies it, yes. So he has already um, been set out on a new path, okay? His, his life was ended. So the hidden influences here were the Eight of Wands, and I have a suspicion that that was when the, um, the after Mr. T's around the world visit, there were a lot of events that happened outside the public eye very, very fast, okay? Um, this is kind of any, any advice or additional insights for us. And uh, the Queen of Cups is just kind of saying that uh, uh, there's a card here. She usually involves emotional intelligence. You know, they, if we if we apply some logic to it, we can see that yeah, the, this gentleman who was a um, born into a family. You know, it was Princess Diana that said they are not human, and uh, born into a family with a lineage that and practices that were not pro-human, it caught up with them eventually. Okay, now the uh, the potential outcome, they decided it would be less jarring for the world to have someone seem to step into that position for a time, and it looks like that time is now ending. Again, bottom row, the cards mean have the same information in placement. So the situation, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here, and uh, she is a card that talks about security, and uh, just kind of a satisfying, they, they decided that this is a way to end this particular storyline, okay? It's one that people can feel some sympathy for, identify with, since so many of us deal with cancer, not having access to hidden cures and what have you. The hidden influence, Ace of Cups, I love that they showed up as a hidden influence, okay? <laughs> Creativity. <laughs> and uh, fulfillment kind of involved here. And again, uh, cups are about emotions. They know there are still a lot of people that aren't awake and aren't aware. And this news is jarring for them. You know, the old school, non-awake. And uh, the, the change set in motion here with the 
processing of the originals, okay, it's kind of coming to a conclusion. The in universe here, as far as potential outcome, um, this card usually tells me that the universe is withholding a little bit of information from us, but we have the gist of it here. We have most of it right here. So yeah, I was on the mark. The original was processed some time ago, several years back. Okay, and Sausage Fingers, who's been playing the part, um, is getting ready to exit stage left. And uh, it's going to look like there's been a succession to the throne and what have you for a time, because we're not, while we're wrapping up some storylines, not wrapping up all of them yet, okay? So let's recap. The announcement that um, King Charles has cancer and it was discovered probably after it advanced is what hit the news yesterday. And I compiled some information about that announcement and shared with you that my personal belief is that the original um, Charles, when he was still Prince Charles, was processed for crimes against humanity some time back. So because of that, I thought it might be wise to do a comparison read and ask for insights and information about what's going on with the person seen in the public eye as um, King Charles III and the original, just get a little information. And the first card that showed up for the original was the tower card. So yeah, he had his tower moment. <laughs> Look, there's a crown, he's fallen down, London Bridge is falling down. Okay, and uh, it just went on, the cards went on to kind of indicate that it was happened sometime back. It actually happened when there's quite a bit of these processing things happening at one time, one time. And then it was decided that uh, for a time to have someone step into that place, continue the role or seem to continue the role as has happened with so many uh, political figures in our world, in several countries. The uh, current situation then for the Prince Charles, yes, he is going to be, it was, it, I think it's a well thought out storyline for him to have the cancer to depart in that way. The death card did show up as so this is a kind of a closure of the situation that started with the processing of the original some years back. It was deemed a wise way to move forward and to start some of these closure processes where they're going to have to have storylines and endings for people that have been dealt with um, quietly that are acceptable to the public until there's more disclosures and more information about the changes that have been happening in our world. And the fact that there has been accountability for crimes against humanity and uh, in our country treason uh, that's been ongoing for quite some time. The situation with King Charles III did show the final thing, the outcome for me was we got the main elements of the story this is how they're going to have his storyline end is with the cancer um, not responding. They may also just be aware he may seem for a time to respond to a treatment that actually includes some uh, protocols that many of us resist. So watch out for that because they, they never let uh, a good calamity go to waste. The deep state doesn't. So <laughs> they may be unable to avoid the fact that the storyline's closing but they may do it to kind of push some uh, um, questionable remedies or protocols that seem to work for a time for the uh, the King Charles. So watch out for that, okay? <laughs> That's just a Laura's view thing. Uh, kind of, you know, I've seen too many times when um, on the heels of something, it was actually used as a catalyst for some social pressure or social change or, you know, a medical protocol, what have you. So. Be aware of that. If he does seem to respond for a time, it's not ultimately not going to change the fact that his storyline is ending. The death card showed up, indicating that this long drawn out process of the quiet processing in you know in the background, the replacement now getting sick, um, is coming to an end. It is. So, and I, I think that hidden information may be just that that there are some plans that are a little nefarious to uh, again, make him seem to respond to something and make desperate people that are hopeful for something for themselves say, oh, sign me up for that too, you know, poke me with this, poke me with that. If it worked for him, maybe it'll work for me. And that won't be the case. So I know when we're dealing with 
diagnoses and we're worried about our family and, and those that are affected, um, we can sometimes reach out and try things that are a little bit questionable. So um, be smart, use your discernment, be wise, okay? And understand that for whatever reason, there is a negative force in this world that wants as many um, casualties as possible. So let's do what we can to not be among that number and to lead good, kind, ethical, joyful lives as much as possible. That's it for this video. I thank you so much for your time and attention. I am going to have a short afterward that has nothing to do with politics. So if you'd like to hang around for that, if you're one of my regular viewers and you're interested, please do so. But if you were just here to hear about the read I had for um, this announcement about the health of King Charles, this concludes that portion of the video. And if you're willing to accept it, as always, I send you love, light, and everything bright. Bye. Okay. It's almost a rules of the road kind of thing. I need to kind of just make sure you're up to speed. I've had a couple of people that keep emailing me and you're welcome to email me. Please know that I have my channel's email listed in the about section on the YouTube channel for a reason. And I've had people thinking that I'm not getting the fact that they have posted a question, that they have a question they posed. And I do read every email. I promised you that. I do continue to read every email. I'm pretty active in the comments for each video I put up also. And I appreciate that people have questions they pose, things that they're curious about and want answers to. I am a one person enterprise here and I'm a senior citizen. This is my service to others activity. This is not all I have going on in my life. I try to come to you with videos and some interesting information four or five times a week. If I have 500 comments in, in a video and 40 of them are people saying, what about this? What about that? There's going to be a lot of people that don't get their questions answered. Now you are welcome to pose those questions in a paid session with a tarot reader that does um, reads. Absolutely. And I welcome the ideas that come my way. I use quite a bit of a delving eye, gave me some of the information that I used in this video, and I appreciate it very much. But please don't get your feelings hurt. Just kind of have it in perspective, okay? If there's a thousand topics going on in our world, and I do four or five videos a week, the chances of you specifically getting your question, you know, made into a video is very, very small. And just be aware of that. Don't take it personally, okay? And as I said, have some perspective because I'm not trying to be the next big thing and, and get contracts and be on all sorts of platforms or what have you. You know, I just want to speak my truth as honestly and kindly and lovingly as I can. And I just kind of figure the universe will bring people that need to hear what I have to say or be interested in what I have to say to me that I, I'm getting out there enough. So I'm not going to try to do 50 videos a week and answer everybody's question, it's impossible. I would burn out. And I'm trying to uh, stay in it to win it for the long haul here and continue my, my channel until our world majorly changes. And then maybe the focus of the channel will change a little bit. Who knows, we'll see. Okay, so that's it. Just the advisory that you're welcome to write me. You're welcome to ask me questions. Please don't get your nose out of joint if it's not something that ends up in a video, even if you thought it was super duper interesting and uh, I must have overlooked it since I haven't done a video about it. Well, it's possible that I didn't see it as quite the, uh, the exciting topic that you did. And at the end of the day, it's my channel and I pick the content and I do the reads and I try to choose very prayerfully and positively what I present to you. Okay, <laughs> so that's it. Rules of the road. <laughs> Don't get butt hurt. Okay. <laughs> so until next time, which will be shortly because I'm doing another video today. Um, I wish you love and light and everything bright. And I thank you for your time so much.